the Russian military has made it their priority to protect Ibrahim Traore at all costs. As violent groups rise, nations often need external help. Despite Burkina Faso's initial efforts to face these challenges independently, without Western aid, the support from other African nations and international partners has become crucial. In this context, Russia appears as a viable ally, offering mutual interests rather than acting out of self-interest. Burkina Faso's acceptance of Russia's assistance raises questions about the long-term implications of this involvement. Let's delve deeper into this issue. The Sahel region in Western Africa, with Burkina Faso at its heart, is becoming a hotspot for geopolitical and security concerns. This area, extending from Senegal in the west to Sudan in the east, has long struggled with issues like desertification, poverty, and ethnic tensions. The current crisis, however, is largely due to a surge in militant activities destabilizing numerous countries within the region. Burkina Faso is facing an unprecedented wave of armed attacks, increasingly retaliated by the country's efforts to combat them. As Burkina Faso attempts to counter these violent groups, they, in turn, strike back to intimidate the local population. The Sahel's strategic importance cannot be overstated. It serves as a buffer zone between the more stable regions of North Africa and the increasingly volatile areas of Sub-Saharan Africa. Consequently, any instability in the Sahel can have far-reaching effects, impacting neighboring regions and beyond. The rise in insurgency and Burkina Faso's response underline the critical nature of the situation. As the country navigates these turbulent waters, the involvement of foreign military advisors, particularly from Russia, marks a significant shift in its approach to addressing these challenges. This development underscores the severity of the security threats faced by Burkina Faso and reflects broader geopolitical dynamics in the region. Given the complex and multifaceted nature of the crisis in the Sahel, it is crucial to understand the various actors involved and their motivations. The presence of Russian military instructors in Burkina Faso adds a new dimension to the ongoing conflict, raising questions about the broader implications for regional stability and international relations. To fully grasp the impact of Russia's involvement, it is essential to consider why Burkina Faso sought Russia's help in the first place. Burkina Faso is currently at a critical juncture, facing an alarming escalation in armed attacks that have pushed the nation to the brink of a security crisis. The surge in violence is primarily attributed to various militant groups, including factions linked to numerous extremist organizations. These groups have exploited the country's vulnerabilities, launching attacks on civilian and military targets, leading to widespread displacement, casualties, and a pervasive atmosphere of fear and uncertainty. The following images depict swarms of fighters riding motorcycles and trucks, advancing towards the northern Burkinabi town of Jibo. This visual evidence illustrates the severity of the threat posed by these groups and the urgent need for effective countermeasures. The involvement of Russian military advisors is seen as a strategic move to bolster Burkina Faso's defense capabilities and to stabilize the region. However, this partnership also invites scrutiny regarding its long-term effects on regional dynamics and international alliances. As Burkina Faso continues its struggle against these violent groups, the collaboration with Russia symbolizes a broader shift in geopolitical alignments. It reflects the nation's determination to seek sustainable solutions and enhance its security framework amidst a complex and evolving crisis. The success of this partnership will depend on its ability to address the immediate security threats while also fostering long-term stability and development in the region. The National Armed Forces of a West African nation recently released images on national television, purportedly showing jihadists launching an attack on an army detachment in Jibo. The situation escalated into a fierce confrontation, with both sides reportedly suffering losses. The country's information agency claimed over 400 terrorists were neutralized in the ensuing counteroffensive by the armed forces against nearly 3,000 assailants attempting to seize control of Jibo. In response to escalating security concerns, the government of Banab has sought external assistance to bolster its counterinsurgency efforts. Recent reports indicate the arrival of Russian military instructors in Burkina Faso, believed to be part of a broader strategy to enhance the capabilities of the country's armed forces in combating insurgents. This marks a significant shift in the government's approach, reflecting a sense of urgency and the critical need for effective solutions to stem the escalating violence. 
The insurgency has inflicted severe consequences on Burkina Faso, disrupting daily life, displacing thousands, and straining humanitarian resources. It has also hampered economic development, exacerbating poverty and underdevelopment. The involvement of Russian military instructors assumes greater significance amid ongoing uncertainty and speculation due to the absence of official confirmation from the Burkinabi government. This lack of transparency could be attributed to concerns about potential domestic and international repercussions, given the controversial nature of foreign military involvement. Acknowledging such support might imply a level of dependency that the government is hesitant to concede publicly. Sources close to the government, however, shed light on the decision to engage Russian military expertise, emphasizing the urgent need to address the deteriorating security situation. Burkina Faso's armed forces have previously struggled to contain the insurgency, making the experience and guidance of Russian instructors crucial in enhancing operational effectiveness. Despite the sensitive nature of foreign military assistance, the government's determination to quell the insurgency underscores its commitment to restoring peace and stability. The strategic deployment of Russian instructors reflects a pragmatic approach to confronting the insurgency, aiming to bolster the country's defenses against persistent threats. While the presence of Russian military instructors in Burkina Faso signals a significant development in the nation's security strategy, the absence of official confirmation highlights the complexities and sensitivities surrounding foreign military involvement. The government's cautious approach underscores its efforts to balance the imperative for security assistance with potential geopolitical ramifications, navigating a delicate path towards securing peace and stability in the face of ongoing challenges. The reported involvement of Russian military advisors in Burkina Faso is part of a broader trend reflecting Russia's increasing influence across Africa in recent years. Russia has been expanding its presence on the continent through diverse channels such as military assistance, economic investments, and diplomatic engagements. The deployment of Russian instructors to Burkina Faso underscores Moscow's strategic interest in bolstering its foothold in the region. Details surrounding the presence of Russian military instructors in Burkina Faso are both intriguing and significant, shedding light on broader regional dynamics. According to reports, logistical operations involving two rotations of planes from neighboring Mali facilitated the arrival of these instructors. This logistical effort highlights the coordination required to deploy foreign advisors to assist in combating insurgency within Burkina Faso. The term Russian instructor often refers to former members of Russia's Wagner mercenary group. Wagner is a private military company renowned for its involvement in various global conflicts, offering combat training, strategic counsel, and operational support to governments facing security challenges. In Burkina Faso, these instructors are expected to impart specialized training to local troops, focusing on tactics, strategies, and techniques essential for countering guerrilla warfare and insurgent activities. Moreover, the logistical aspect of their deployment underscores the regional dimensions of the conflict. The fact that these instructors were flown in from Mali underscores cooperation between the two countries and highlights the broader implications of insurgency across the Sahel, where militant groups operate across national borders. Beyond training, Russian instructors are likely involved in strategic planning and operational support. Their roles may include advising on counterinsurgency campaigns, coordinating intelligence efforts, and providing on-the-ground assistance during critical missions. This comprehensive support aims to enhance Burkina Faso's military capabilities and improve its ability to effectively respond to insurgent threats. To understand the impact of their presence, it's crucial to consider the background of the Wagner Group. Established around 2014, Wagner has been implicated in conflicts in Ukraine, Syria, Libya, and several African nations. The group operates discreetly, often advancing Russian geopolitical interests while maintaining plausible deniability for the Russian government. Wagner operatives, typically former military personnel, bring extensive combat experience and specialized skills to their missions. In Africa, Wagner's activities have been notable, encompassing security provision for government officials, training local forces, and direct involvement in combat operations. Their involvement in Burkina Faso underscores the complexities of international military engagements and their implications for regional stability.
While the presence of Russian military instructors in Burkina Faso serves immediate tactical purposes in countering insurgency, it also reflects broader geopolitical strategies aimed at expanding Russian influence in Africa. This development underscores the evolving landscape of international security dynamics in the Sahel region, where local governments grapple with persistent security challenges amid porous borders and transnational militant activities. The presence of Russian military and economic interests in countries like the Central African Republic in Sudan has underscored Russia's broader ambitions to expand its influence across Africa. This strategic maneuver aligns with Russia's overarching goal of increasing its footprint on the continent, leveraging both military and economic means to solidify relationships and advance its geopolitical objectives. The decision to deploy former Wagner Group fighters to Burkina Faso follow significant internal changes within the group. The death of Wagner's chief, Yevgeny Prigozhin, in a plane crash in August of the previous year prompted a reorganization. The Russian Defense Ministry rebranded the group as the Africa Corps, a move aimed at formalizing and expanding Russia's military presence in Africa. This rebranding reflects a strategic shift towards a more structured and official approach to their operations in the region. Russia's Africa Corps has made notable strides in West Africa fostering closer ties with military governments in countries like Burkina Faso, Niger, and Mali. These nations, including Burkina Faso, have signed a security pact with Russia, committing to mutual assistance in the face of internal rebellions or external aggression. The formation of the Africa Corps signifies a consolidation of Russia's military strategy in Africa, drawing on the expertise of former Wagner operatives within a framework that aligns closely with Russia's defense objectives. The mission in Burkina Faso exemplifies this strategic evolution, demonstrating a more integrated and systematic approach to providing military support in the region. Russia's involvement in Burkina Faso and broader Africa is driven by a combination of strategic interests and geopolitical aspirations. While Burkina Faso requires external assistance to combat insurgency and enhance security, Russia's readiness to provide such aid stems from deeper motivations. Historically, Russia has maintained strong ties with Africa, dating back to the Cold War era when the Soviet Union supported numerous liberation movements and newly independent states. This legacy of solidarity has fostered enduring relationships based on mutual respect and cooperation. Today, Russia seeks to revive and strengthen these ties by offering military aid, economic partnerships, and diplomatic support to African nations. The deployment of Russian military instructors to Burkina Faso is a continuation of this tradition, aimed at assisting African countries in building their defense capabilities and addressing security challenges independently. Additionally, Russia's engagement in Africa is motivated by its desire to contribute to the continent's stability and development. By providing military training and support, Russia helps countries like Burkina Faso bolster their defense capacities, thereby promoting regional stability. This stability, in turn, creates a more secure environment conducive to economic investments and partnerships, benefiting both Russia and African nations. Moreover, Russia's actions in Africa are part of a broader strategy to counterbalance Western influence on the continent. Historically dominated by former colonial powers like France and the United Kingdom, Africa has been a focal point of geopolitical competition Russia's increased engagement serves to diversify Africa's international partnerships and offer an alternative to Western dominance, enhancing Russia's global influence and strategic positioning. Russia's involvement in Burkina Faso and broader Africa reflects a multifaceted strategy encompassing military, economic, and diplomatic dimensions. It underscores Russia's commitment to fostering stability, building partnerships, and countering Western influence in the region while also addressing the immediate security needs of African nations like Burkina Faso. Russia's influence in Africa manifests through economic aid, military cooperation, and political interventions, distinguishing itself from Western approaches that many African countries view with increasing skepticism, often perceiving them as neo-colonialism that prioritizes Western interests over local needs. Russia positions itself as an alternative to Western hegemony by offering support without the conditions typically attached to Western aid. This strategy appeals to African nations seeking to diversify their international partnerships and reduce dependency on Western powers. By filling the void left by diminishing Western influence, 
Russia aims to establish itself as a dependable partner, thereby reshaping Africa's geopolitical landscape. A key driver of Russia's strategy in Africa is its global rivalry with Western powers. By expanding its influence on the continent, Russia seeks to counteract Western policies and assert its presence in a region increasingly seen as strategically important. This geopolitical maneuver not only enhances Russia's global stature, but also disrupts Western dominance, contributing to a more multipolar world order. Russia's approach to Africa differs significantly from that of the West, particularly concerning historical perceptions of exploitation. Western countries have often been criticized for exploiting Africa's resources and labor, leaving behind environmental degradation and social instability. In contrast, Russia emphasizes a partnership model based on mutual respect and benefit. Russian engagement is portrayed as free from the exploitative practices associated with the West, resonating with African leaders and communities keen to develop their nations without falling into new forms of dependency or exploitation. Moreover, Russia's commitment to respecting the sovereignty of African nations enhances its appeal. Unlike some Western interventions that come with political and economic conditions, Russian aid and cooperation are framed as respecting the recipient country's autonomy and decision-making processes. This approach fosters trust and goodwill, making African nations more receptive to Russian assistance, particularly in areas like military and security support. Russia's focus on addressing immediate security challenges aligns with the pressing needs of countries in the Sahel region, such as Burkina Faso, which grapple with insurgencies and terrorism. By providing advanced military technology, strategic advice, and training, Russia can significantly bolster the defense capabilities of Sahelian nations. This support has the potential to enhance stability, reduce violence, and improve security conditions, creating a safer environment conducive to economic development and societal progress. Granting Russia a significant role in regions like the Sahel carries both potential benefits and implications for Africa's development and stability. Russia's presence offers African nations an alternative to traditional Western partnerships, reducing dependency on a single geopolitical actor and fostering competition among international partners. This competition may enable African countries to negotiate more favorable terms for economic and military cooperation, potentially leading to improved infrastructure, technological advancements, and economic growth. Russia's approach of non-interference and respect for sovereignty contrasts with historical practices by Western powers, offering African nations a different path for development and security. While the implications of Russia's expanded influence in Africa remain to be fully realized, its engagement presents opportunities for enhanced cooperation and development that could benefit the continent's long-term stability and prosperity. Russia's approach resonates strongly with African leaders and populations wary of external interventions perceived as exploitative or politically motivated. By emphasizing mutual respect, effectiveness, and partnership, Russia's engagement in Africa has the potential to foster stronger diplomatic ties, regional cooperation, and conflict resolution efforts within the Sahel region. Furthermore, Russian investments in infrastructure projects, resource development, and energy sectors could catalyze economic growth in Sahelian countries. Improved connectivity through transportation networks and energy infrastructure has the potential to boost trade, create employment opportunities, and elevate living standards for local communities. These economic benefits may contribute to reducing poverty levels and promoting long-term socioeconomic development across the region. Russia's presence in the Sahel also serves as a counterbalance to Western geopolitical dominance in Africa. Competition between Russia and Western nations can incentivize improvements in aid and partnership terms offered to African countries, potentially enhancing aid effectiveness and development assistance. Moreover, Adopting a multipolar engagement framework empowers African nations to negotiate from a position of strength, ensuring that international partnerships align with their long-term development goals and national interests. Regarding military support, Russia's involvement is viewed positively in the context of Africa's development. The support provided aims to enhance local defense capabilities against insurgencies and other security threats, contributing to regional stability. This strategic assistance is perceived as beneficial for Africa, enabling countries like Burkina Faso to address immediate security challenges effectively and safeguard their sovereignty. 
However, concerns about potential exploitation or self-interest-driven motives must be carefully considered. While Russia promotes a narrative of partnership and mutual benefit, it is essential to monitor the terms and conditions attached to Russian investments and assistance to ensure they genuinely serve Africa's long-term interests. Russia's engagement in Africa, including its military support in the Sahel, presents both opportunities and challenges for the continent. The positive aspects include economic development, enhanced security, and strengthened diplomatic ties, potentially leading to a more balanced international relations landscape. However, vigilance is necessary to ensure that partnerships with Russia and other global powers are genuinely beneficial and aligned with Africa's aspirations for sustainable development and self-reliance. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future videos.